Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Julie Kay here with a loaded pocket card and this one isn't your normal traditional loaded pocket where they are like six by nine. This is an actual six by six one. I had an envelope that was um, six by six si size and I had a friend that I needed to send a thank you card for and so I decided to just put kind of a little bit of a loaded um, envelope on the front of the card for her just because I had a couple goodies for her. And so I have, like I said, more stuff to stick in there. And I'll go through the little embellishments that I put on there and a couple more that I'm sticking in there. But on the inside, I just stamped, uh, thank you for making me feel special. And then I just put the Eiffel Tower on there just because she enjoys Paris. And the back, I debated about putting a pocket on there, but I ended up not doing that. I just stamped my name in the, in the bottom and just decorated the back side up with just some decorative paper. Like I said, this is mostly just a thank you card and the little envelope, loaded envelope on the front is more just of a kind of a bonus for her because I had a couple of goodies for her. So one of the embellishments that I did make for her is is this and I just used scrap paper for my collection and just some different pieces left over. Um, the stickers did come from the Tim Holtz sticker collection that he has out there. And the big paper clip, I did get that paper clip from Shonda here on YouTube um, in my giveaway challenge and so I did utilize that. I did make my friend just a tiny little bow here and I use the Tim Holtz bow punch for all my bows and I just decorated it up with just a little embellishment that I had left over and then also I made her this bow on a paper clip also. I'm going to be sticking a few store-bought things inside this little envelope but I will show you some of the handmade items that I made to go with it. The first one is this little tag and I'm going to stick some twine on the top of it because it is a tag but I did decorate it up using just little random pieces that were sitting on my desk and left over from other projects. There's a little wood veneer that I painted with a bird on it. Did some punching right here and then stamped the word love along with a little flower and a little pearl in the middle of that. Here's another tag. Um, a craft tag and again pretty much similar to the last one just a little bit different bird and the different base of the tag and a different f flower color. I also made this little tag for her and I'm going to stick some twine on it yet. I used some of the gold pieces. It was the Martha Stewart decoupage stuff that I picked up from Tuesday morning. You can kind of see that. And then this is a K and Company flower and then again the Tim Holtz sticker at the bottom. And the tag did come with with that already punched in the the tags that I used I got from Yvonne in one of our swaps on just deconstructive art journaling. She had sent a couple tags. And the last thing I did make for my friend is a little shaker. I did stamp the words, um, let me see, it's wishing you a day filled with good things. Couple more of those flowers with pearls in the middle, a wood veneer that I painted up, and then I just did also stick a little tiny tag that I punched out for that. And then the last item, and I might glue this onto the front of the card right here. I'm not sure yet, but just a wood a wood tag that I put some paper on, stamped the word friend, and then also layered up. This is a little rose button with a metal piece on it. So that is my loaded envelope and like I said I'm going to stick some other store-bought stuff in there but I just thought I would share the handmade items with you. Thanks so much for watching and you guys all have a great day.